The EpiPen is an auto-injectable device that injects epinephrine into the body for those who don't know. It can be the difference between life or death for a person suffering from a severe allergic reaction. Mylan, the drug maker, used to sell the crucial life-saving drug for $100 a dose. However, that was before Senator Joe Manchin, daughter Heather Manchin Bresch, became Mylan's CEO and raised the price to a ridiculous, unjustified, unconscionable $650 for one dose. Good evening. No apologies and no price cut offered today from the woman in the middle of a growing firestorm over the soaring cost of potentially life-saving EpiPens, up some 400% in recent years. When the scandal broke, Bresch, who earned $31 million as the CEO, testified before Congress, denying having anything to do with the sudden price increase of the drug. Now, we know this was BS, as new evidence emerged, proving that the former president and CEO of the drug maker worked directly with the CEO of Pfizer to keep the prices of the company's EpiPen product artificially high, according to new documents released as part of an ongoing lawsuit. But it's not just Heather Manchin Bresch, a corrupt snake inflicting pain on Americans. Her daddy Joe Manchin is the head corrupt snake in the game. Senator Manchin is a whiny, bad-faith, unprincipled man who leans in the direction his big-money donors want him to. As a result, when it comes to being a true, solid Democrat for working people, unsurprisingly, Manchin's loyalty is the same as Gaboon Vipers. When Republicans refuse to work with Democrats, Manchin will bite you on their behalf. Saying one thing today, and then writing an op-ed tomorrow, completely changing his position, is not a bug in this unprincipled corrupt man. It's now a feature. Case in point, in January 2021, here's Manchin calling for up to $4 trillion in new infrastructure spending. Most important thing, do an in big infrastructure. Spend two, three, four trillion dollars over a 10-year period on infrastructure. You want to put everybody back to work? There's a lot, of, a lot of people that lost their jobs, that those jobs aren't coming back. They need a place to work to make a living. Every state can start an infrastructure program. Fast forward to today. The same Joe Manchin is opposed to spending $3.5 trillion on infrastructure. As usual, he cannot make a coherent case as to why he's opposed to the spending bill now. This was the case recently during a local radio interview in his home state of West Virginia. Manchin was caught off guard by the conservative host, holding his feet to the fire and demanding to know what he was opposed to in the Democrat infrastructure bill. All Manchin could come up with is silly nitpicking popular programs in the bill and calling them sugar. Senator Joe Manchin's with us. That actually brings us back to this three and a half trillion dollar yeah. uh, anti-poverty health care and climate plan. I want to mention a couple things in this. Paid family leave, medical leave, subsidized child care, extension of an expanded child tax credit, universal pre-K for three and four year olds, two years uh, free tu tuition free community college, uh, green cards to millions of immigrants, expanded Affordable Care Act subsidies. Uh, broaden Medicare benefits to cover dental, vision, and hearing. Reduction prescription drug costs. Allowing Medicare to negotiate prices, among other things. So that's just a few of the things, uh, tax credits for clean energy investments. That's just a few of the things right off the top. Now, some of those things, maybe many of those things, people would really like. People would like some of those things. So well, are you... We call, that, we call that the sugar. Everybody likes a little sugar every now and then. But you, you, don't, want to give, you don't want to give them that sugar? Well, we've been five point four trillion. We're trying to keep, you know, we came out of a recession. Now Manchin is back to his predictable whining. The Democrats' three point five trillion dollar price tag is far too lofty. After he was on TV in his home state in January, calling for four trillion dollars in spending. So what changed, Senator? What changed? An open secret search of Manchin's political donations reveals that his campaign and PAC dollars come primarily from Wall Street investment firms and lobbying companies. They're among those who would likely be forced to pay their fair share of taxes. Democrat California Representative Katie Porter epically schooled the fiscally irresponsible Joe Manchin for blocking the crucial budget bill a few days ago. Now, with regard to Senator Manchin and others who want to talk about the price tag for this, let me be clear. You are a business person. You get it. You can do math. If something costs A, then you have two options. You can negotiate down from A or you can find the money. We have revenue options on the table. There are a huge number of corporations that pay zero taxes. And by making savvy revenue choices, for example, using a real corporate profit approach to dealing with those corporations that pay zero, we could generate 700 billion. If we use the corporate minimum tax approach, we're gonna generate 40 billion. Right there, right there, Senator Manchin, right there, anyone who's worried about spending, we can generate the revenue so that this isn't 
about 3.5 trillion in spending. It's not even now about 3.5 trillion in spending because we're going to generate the revenue to pay for these things. I have the will to do it. The question is, does Senator Manchin, or is he more concerned about his corporate donors, including large corporations, the oil and gas industry, the big pharmaceutical industry, and others who are getting away with paying nothing under our current tax system? I think it's dead on, fiscally irresponsible for Senator Manchin to refuse to raise revenue and at the same time, out of the other side of his mouth, maybe the side of his mouth that he uses to talk to his corporate donors, complain that we can't pay for the things that American families desperately need. Katie Porter, you are taking no prisoners today. Good God, this man is a greedy, self-involved, blue dog, shit-eating, corporate, leg-humping, DMC-funded, hypocritical, corrupt tool. Manchin is now the self-appointed president of the United States, along with Vice President Kirsten Cinema. These two have been playing both ends against the middle too long. It's time to stop being nice to them, because they're just wasting precious legislative time. They know this, but they're still waiting on the highest bidder from Wall Street, or their dark money handlers. Mitch McConnell, who pledged to destroy President Biden and his Build Back Better economic agenda, is rejoicing that these two stooges are helping him on the inside. I pray for them. We give them lots of love. Gush is the neo-fascist, who ushered in the era of unprecedented tribalism in the U.S. Senate. That's the proof right there that Manchin and Cinema are Republicans pretending to be Democrats. The party should withhold all future support for either of them. And just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward.